Skippers aboard the San Diego base USNS Mercy take on a new mission. Heather Lake live in Barrio Logan now with the details on that. Heather, good morning. Good morning, yeah. So our sailors on the USNS Mercy have a brand new mission, and it's all outside of the ship in the greater Los Angeles area. They're doing all of this just at the same time that all of us are trying to get used to wearing masks. They're doing the same thing on the ship. They're staying six feet away from other sailors, and some of them even living in the Los Angeles area and area hotels so that they can mitigate the spread of COVID-19. I want to show you some pictures on board, and we'll talk a little bit about their new mission and what they're doing on board. They've dealt with at least nine cases of COVID-positive sailors and we're able to get them off of the ship and quarantined in rooms in Los Angeles and they've monitored them daily. As for the crew on board, they've set up an extra tented eating area on the deck of the ship so that sailors can be spread out during mealtime. In addition to that, a large part of the crew is staying in hotels in Los Angeles that, so they could better space out their living quarters on the ship. The commanding officer of the Mercy tells me they're still treating non COVID patients on board. They're performing daily surgeries and treating people with illnesses and injuries such as pneumonia and heart failure. They've treated 71 people on board so far, but now they have a new mission. So 40 sailors are being sent into the greater Los Angeles area to help in the fight against the coronavirus. They're working at a skilled nursing facility with COVID positive patients and assisting with their daily care. Captain John Rotruck talks about how both the missions on board and in the city will help for long term deployments. Take a listen. I think it's a chance for people to both learn some new skills, particularly our junior folks, as you mentioned, as well as solidify skills that they already had learned at one point, but haven't necessarily been able to put into practice frequently. And I think that's true for all of our staff. Uh, you know, with every everybody in healthcare, you see, need to maintain a certain currency and competency with whatever your skill set is. And depending on your practice environment, it could be easier or harder to do that. So I think it's been a great chance, particularly uh, for our folks in the operating room uh, in the setting of most elective surgeries have been canceled across the country. Uh, it's a chance for them to continue to operate and continue to maintain their currency and competency, uh, both of the patients that they would take care of back here in the U.S. as well as in a deployed setting taking care of our troops. And I talked to him a little bit about the morale of the sailors. He says that those personnel are very excited about their new mission out in Los Angeles and being able to perform that mission and that morale is still high on the ship as far as them coming back to San Diego. Right now, they have no timeline as to when they'll be returning. In Barrio Logan, Heather Lake, Fox 5 News. All right, Heather Lake, thank you for that.